Right now, if you go on social media, Cecilia, the pa is trending. And it's all because of this front page of a, the Chronicle. One million dollars, 300,000 euros, and millions of CDs stolen from Cecilia, the pa's home. Now, this lady... <laughs> hey! People have money in Ghana. She said her house helps. Two of her house helps stole one million dollars. Cash. One million dollars. 300,000 euros cash and also millions of Ghana cities and a lot of items and they've been caught and now it has become a bomb blast and according to rumors or sources no, this issue happened last year and this lady has tried her best to keep it under wraps when it happened the house of one of the households was 17 years when the thing happened and they've been trying to hide it and hide it because as a government official there how do you have such amount of money? But now the issue is out. But we'll talk about the facts of the case. The story behind this whole thing. I have the full yes. And the headless YouTube and this headless reactions. Alatari Yanko! Now before we get into the details of this, kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on post notification and also share a comment in the comment section whenever you feel like it. Now this is Madame Cecilia Abinadapa. She is currently the Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources. Now these are the facts of the case. The couple lived at Ablekuma. I'm talking about Madame Cecilia Abinadapa and her husband, Mr. Daniel Osekufo. They lived with two house helps, and these house helps are called Patience Mabena Boche and also Sarah AJ. Patience Mabena Boche currently is 18 years old. Sarah AJ currently is 30 years old. Now, according to the documents, you know, they stole one million dollars cash. They stole three hundred thousand euros. They stole millions of Ghana cities. Now, this, this didn't happen at once. It's not like they stole the whole one million and moved it at once. They've been stealing a small, 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 small to the tune of one million Ghana cities. Aside that, they stole handbags and perfumes, which cost about 95,000 Ghana cities. They also stole jewelries, which cost about 90,000 euros. Hey, sorry, US dollars. 90,000 US dollars worth of jewelry that they stole from the woman. Now, aside that, you know, patients stole six pieces of kente that they stole from the woman. They also stole six pieces of kente, which is about 90,000 Ghana cities. And that one, it was patients who stole it. Six pieces of kente worth about 90,000 Ghana cities. And also suits that belong to the husband. No? The six pieces of the suits, which is about $3,000. And these are the things that they stole. So right now, they are, they've been charged with cons conspiracy for committing crime and also five counts of committing that crime, the stealing in Nankasa. Now, they, these are not the only people that are affected. Patience, eh? her father is affected, her ex-boyfriend is affected, and also her current boyfriend is affected. So the police has got Sarah. Police has got Patience. Police has got Patience's father. Patience's ex-boyfriend. And also patient's current boyfriend. Now this thing allegedly happened between July and October 2022. That was when this case was, you know, they were going on, the thing was going on. Now that is what happened. Mr. Daniel Sekufo, which is a, the woman's husband, no? he came home one day and they locked their bedroom before they go to work. The money and everything is in their bedroom. They lock their bedroom and go. The rest of the house there, it is accessible to the the house helps. But one day he came home and he realized that his bedroom door was open. And Patience was in the bedroom and some kukru kukru. So that was why he was like, ah, now Patience, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hi. He said, now Patience, what are you doing in this room? And that was why they said, oh, so all this money that has been getting, like, We've been missing some amount of money and some things in this house. But because we locked our bedroom, no, we didn't know that you people have spare key. The things have been like every day that something is missing in the room. But nobody has access to the room, so they don't know who to suspect. But when the man saw patients in the room, 
Then the man said, oh, so patience, you are the one that has been stealing it. And also they started doing the investigation. And because patience that time, she was like 17 years. And they shook her small and she said, oh, please, I'm not the only one who has been stealing. Sister Sarah has also been stealing. <laughs> from the, the uh, you know the house she's no longer a house up now you if you still one million dollars will you still be house up <laughs> <laughs> so according to patience those days she wasn't the one stealing it was sister sarah that was stealing but she was the one watching the uh, the gate so she would be watching the gate or watching the area to see whether madame or a uh, boss they are coming home and then Sister Sarah will be doing the stealing and then they will share the money. But it got to a point where Sarah resigned. So it was left with only patients in the house. So now when patients is going to steal, there's no one to look at her back. And that was how come she was caught. Now when they caught her and they took her to police station and all that, you know, she was granted bail. Because mine was 17 years, so they're actually, we don't need to... Yes, so she was granted bail and they were still investigating. In investigating. Now, while they were investigating, this girl that is on bail, she ran away with her boyfriend to Tamale. Now, when she ran away to Tamale, they were still doing the investigation and they were tracking down Sarah J. Patients ran to Tamale. They were tracking Sarah J and they found out that, oh, Sarah J has built a three-bedroom house in Budumbura. After Kaswa going, that's where Sarah has built a three-bedroom house and she's living there. And they track patients and they caught patients and her boyfriend Benjamin. Benjamin is 29 years old. They caught patients and Benjamin at Tamale. Sarah now patients and her boyfriend. Patients has bought Elantra, which is 80,000 Ghana cities. Elantra, 80,000 Ghana cities as a gift to her boyfriend Benjamin. And also gave Benjamin 180,000 Ghana cities cash. Now, Benjamin sold the Elantra and went to buy Honda Civic. But that one day, we'll get there. She also rent a three-bedroom house in Tamale. 105,000 Ghana cities. 105K. She rented the house and that was where they were living when the police went to catch them. She also rented out a store. 120,000 Ghana cities. Store. <laughs> and while all these things were going on, Asana... Even though she ran to Tamale and she has bought those things, you know, she has also bought a house in Accra worth $70,000. She bought a house in Accra and because she ran away, you know, so now she has gone to do all those properties in Tamale. So when the police raided the house, when the police got to the house, police found $40,000 cash in her house and also a, a 72,000 Ghana cities cash. So police said, hey, you that we've given you bail and you've run away and we are looking for you. You that you were saying that oh, you were not the one who stole the money neither and then. House help. What are you doing with $40,000 cash? <laughs> <laughs> now, it is when they caught her. Now, according to rumors, this side there is rumors. It's some guy who said it on Facebook. Saying that when they caught her in Tamale, no, she, they were having three cars. But by the time they got to Accra, one of the cars is missing. Police for, but that one the allegation. It's not me who said it. <laughs> Aye, that was the allegation. Anyway, let's continue the story. Now, when they started doing investigation, they found out that her ex-boyfriend Malik Dauda, that's her ex-boyfriend, patient's ex-boyfriend, she gave the guy one million Ghana cities. <laughs>
By now, when see the people looking at her and wondering, hey God, when will you bless me? Look at how they are blessing small girls. When will you bless me? You will see these people and then you'll be blaming God. Meanwhile, <laughs> I, so these are the things that like this was going on. And because of that, Sarah was granted bail. Sarah J, sister Sarah. She guess she was granted bail because now she said um, a nursing mother, she has a baby that she needs to take care of. So she was granted bail. But patience, her father, her boyfriend, and her ex, her boyfriend, Benjamin, and her ex, Malik, the, the four of them, they, they, they've been remanded in, into police custody. One million Ghana cities bill with two charities who, who are supposed to bring their Ghana card. That is the bill terms for them. But Sarah, there, she's been granted bill because she needs to go and take care of her, her a child. So Sarah, there, you can see that Sarah, she, she has stolen some of the money, allegedly stolen some of the money, and she has moved on with her life. But patience, patience is the one that has caused all this. <laughs> patience is the one that has caused all these things. So, into you'll be wondering, say, as a minister, as a public servant, Madam Cecilia Ambenadapa, how did, how did, does she have, you know, this amount of money? Now, note that the money, they didn't steal it at once. They were stealing it small, 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 small. To the point where Sister Sarah has allegedly stolen her arm and she has quit the job and gone. Patience was still there stealing, allegedly. Patience was still there stealing, Sister Sarah is gone. Which means they didn't even notice the money was missing until the man came to see Sarah, a, a Patience in their bedroom. That was when they noticed that, hey, so we that we thought we've locked our, our door and we don't know where the money is passing. Sana is you. If we go to work, then you come and open the door, then you come and take $100,000, then you go. We'll look through the things, we'll see that $100,000 is missing, but and yes, we can't go and report because the money now if we report it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what is going on. As people are shouting and crying that, hey, Ghana is hard, Ghana is hard. No? Some people are losing money like this and they can't complain or report because they don't know how the money is getting missing because they've locked their door. Sana, their house help has a duplicate key opening the door while they are away to come and steal. Hey! Now the case has been adjourned. It has been adjourned to 2nd August 2023. It has been adjourned into you know, at the Akra Circuit Court. We'll see what will go on uh, on 2nd August. But so far, maybe, patience, her father, Patience Boche, her father, Koku Boche, her a boyfriend, current boyfriend, Benjamin, and also her ex, Malik. The four of them, no, behind bars. She gave her ex-boyfriend one million. She gave her father 50,000. She gave her current boyfriend 180,000. No, the ex was really doing something special. <laughs> I, the ex was doing something special. Or maybe the time she was stealing, the money was there, so that was how come the ex has more. Now you too, Malik. You okay, me, I don't know the past of the case, you know. But they answer so. So this is what is happening. Share your views in the comment section. Tell somebody about headless. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. On 2nd August, we'll go and look into the case and we'll bring more details. And I don't know. Yeah,